Hello everyone, this is Gazza942 and we are back with Fortress Craft Evolved Let's Play Series Season 1, Episode 10. And we've currently got Telerian22 in our live stream chat. We are live streaming. Um, so yeah, where we got to last time, we had just uh, found some lithium. We were processing our iron in the hopes to make a, another ore, ore extractor for our coal. Because I'd forgotten that we'd used it on our iron node. So we're a little bit short on power. And we've also got our PTG now. So that's sorting us out. So we can now use our force induction again. Because before it was drawing too much energy. So we couldn't actually run it. And as you can see we've got no energy in our tin or copper. Actually our tin's still got enough energy but our copper has not so thanks to the help of our PTG we've actually got a lot of power now we're we, we can use it faster than we sorry we can produce it faster than we're using it currently so um, Talarian how are you anyway I haven't actually spoken to you in a little while I think the last time we spoke was about Monday before I had to go into work. I stayed up till about 4 a.m. because I couldn't sleep. Oh, we've got a couple of favourites on our Twitch, uh, Twitter. Thank you for that. If you're watching this video, you, you will get a shout out. If I can pronounce your names, and unfortunately, I couldn't pronounce that one. So we're going to just do another quick run down to check our iron. Feeling, feeling a little bit tired as well, I had a long day at work. So we're going to add the power, take the lithium, I'm going to run, run I see. Oh, hello! Tom to Blizz. Kappa? Not sure that's English, so I do apologise. Welcome to the channel! Oh, Nightbot's now activated. I forgot I'd left that off. Uh, what have we got here? We're going to chuck our iron in because we want to process that. And I'll leave this access hatch open down here because I've got a habit of picking them up and getting stuck with them. So we're going to manually input those ores. As it's processing them and spitting them out, we're going to craft our items. So we need another four. Make that three bars. Oh, that's lithium, so right, we need still need a lot more iron. And we, although, ah, oh yes, we are, we are running a bit, a bit low on a tin. Oh wait, we already done that. I'm doubling back up myself. I do apologise. Right, um, let's just juice everything up. Since since we've had the PTG plugged in, our coal has burnt a lot faster because we were here. That had lasted up up until we found iron, basically. And since we've had our PTG, which was only last episode, we've come through quite a bit of coal. But it's a lot more efficient than our central power hub. But with the, with the help of the PTG and the hub, 
we've got lots of energy right now. In fact, oh, we may just put that down there. Just because I don't want to get stuck with all of that coal. We're going to dump it up here. Salted. Just because of the way these mini hoppers work, I think they output every 30 seconds. The logistics output every 10 seconds. Hence why I've got the two down there. Because they work in tandem to output all the yours. Oh wow, I didn't want to do that. There we go. Okay, we've got Martha here being a bit nosy, trying to work out what's going on. So we're going to run downstairs, we're going to see if we can get a little bit more iron. And then we're going to build a uh, ore processor. Sorry, ore extractor. I'm really butchering the names tonight. Cap uh, out is not foreign, it's one of those mime type words. Ah, oh, hello. Okay, I do apologise. I don't know much about the, uh, the mime, mime stuff. So, Tonton Blizz, welcome to the channel anyway. And we did remember to start our time this time, that's good. Um, is that going to give us a couple? Right. There we got. So we still need three. I believe that'll give us two. Well, we had at least two. And if we're lucky, we might have a third possible ingot on its way, if, depending on how much iron or wood we had left in the storage hopper. Did we? Yes, we have. Great. So we've now got our ore extractor for the coal again, which should be desperately needed. And the sun is rising. I think that is great. The only thing that disappoints me is you haven't got a physical sun rising. You can't see the sun, but you can see the effects from the shadows. Right, that's taking too long. Oh, jump down here. We've got an ooze just chilling out. So I got no problems, we're gonna stay here. Right, we're gonna add some power, juice this up. Uh it's something that you can stick on the end of a sentence like, how's your day going? Kappa. Or if you like mess up, they say kappa, except multi-purpose word. Ah, okay. That's quite cool. Yeah, the shadows in this game are great. We uh, also got our second interview uh, series going out on uh, YouTube the other day. And I, I think I, ups, I kind of messed up HMK's schedule because he wanted to do a, another Simply Chess game. And um, unfortunately I had work. So um, I think he did a video with himself versus computer level 1. Haven't actually checked it out yet, I might do that tonight before I go to bed. But he is very good at chess and he was doing moves I'd never even seen before. 
and I'm relatively new to chess. I played a little bit of lunchtime at school, but that was all I ever did. I never really played it much and more than that. <laughs> so yeah, he kind of kicked my ass the very first episode. And he kind of dragged it out as well. There were several times he could have got me. And he hadn't moved that single piece in ages. And he could have just ended the game within minutes. But instead he dragged it out and cru cruelly like made me feel like I was getting somewhere. And then once I saw him move that icon I was like, oh that's been there for ages. You could have like destroyed me in no time. Just like wanted to drag it out a little bit. Oh, what did I press? There we go. Did we fully charge this one? No, we didn't. Arthur! I need your energy. Have you got any more energy for me? No, you haven't. Damn. We are just going to cook. Right. We need to lower our temperature because if we burn up, it's just as deadly as the cold. Oh wow, that was a bit of lag or something now. I don't know what's going on. Low energy. Low energy. Ah, oh, what? Are you not keeping up anymore? He was doing so well. You are running low on energy. Right. So yeah, we've now got some lithium, got some coal automated. Well, re-automated, we kind of broke it initially. Give a little bit of love to our tin and copper. Yeah, in our rush game we kind of exploited... Well, it's not really exploited, it's not really a bug. But we had our PTG alongside our hoppers and a battery. So our coal will never die unless it runs out of ore. In which case it couldn't power itself, but for now it's like a set up and, ignore, and just forget it. And then we had all of these uh, conveyor belts, we had like a switcher here. So one would go to the coal, uh, sorry, one would go to the copper. So we'd have another uh, PTG here and a hopper. So the coal would go into the PTG which would power the ore extractor. And uh, the other switcher which we had, so we had, that one would be... So we'd have one there for the tin, one there for the copper. And this would be a switcher, so it just continuously spin around till it can output. And we just had it all fully automated. The only thing we had to do is once the coal ran out, we'd have to find a new source of coal. And it was so good. Even to the point where we had another like conveyor system here. So we had a PTG with a load of energy uh, laser transmitters going down towards our iron and not far from the iron we found some lithium as well and managed to automate that. Hello Dragon Cinder, we haven't seen you in a little while. Uh, it's probably co isn't keeping up because your CPH stored power ran out. At least that's... oh yeah it may have already had some power stored up, that is correct. And we also disconnected the uh, storage hopper, uh, the mini hopper from the CPH, so the only input power from the CPH is now going to be solar energy because the PTG is far superior with its energy efficiency per coal so look at that, we've got lots and lots of energy still so We'll see if we can make a battery and maybe a couple of storage hoppers and proceed from there. Additional energy is required. 
Ooh, we seem to be still struggling somewhat. Perhaps we'll put a temporary hopper here. There we go. To give it that little bit of a boost. Yep, that seems to be doing the job. Just because it's less efficient doesn't mean we won't use it. I mean, it's still giving us a lot, little bit of excess, which is in fact perfect. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, life is life. It just gets in the way all the time. I prefer my game life because that way I can have many lives. Whereas this life, I've got the one. So instead of just choosing one life, I choose many. I like games. Did I finish my coffee? No, I didn't. Stone cold, but it's actually really refreshing even when it's cold. I do like coffee. Coffee is my friend, my alarm clock is my enemy. On a video games, I'm always number one. Yeah, but if you're number one all the time, what have you got to strive for? I mean, I like being, if, even if I'm at the bottom, I can then just say, right, well, I can't get any lower than this. I can just push myself and try and beat other people. But when you're number one, it's like you've kind of reached your maximum potential. You can't go past that, so you kind of run out of things to aim for. So it's nice, I mean we've actually got quite a few people in our stream tonight, normally it's dead around this point in time. So, yeah, it's nice nice to have a few people in here while we're recording. Uh, right, let's look and see what we can make. Uh, actually, we're going to look at Arthur. What can Arthur do for us? We need a few more bits of energy before we can get his solar panel. What about battery? Um, Arthur charge charging station. Can we make one of those? I'll probably have to do some research for that again. Um, what's up with you Arthur? What are you badgering me about? Did you see that new game called Oof or Org or something like that? It got out of green light in five days on Steam. Okay, that's cool. I might have to look that up. What what kind of game style is it? Is it a bit like voxel based? Like like this sort of style game? I would say post the link, but unfortunately Nightbot would would uh, go to town on you. So I wouldn't suggest that. Oh, look at that, we're full of we're full of ingots. It's like this one. Ah, okay. I like, I really do get into these survival build craft and um, basically yeah build craft survive I like this sort of style of gameplay I, between this and Creativeverse this like I kind of like both of those games oh, okay it's a massive it's an MMO massive multiplayer online game that'd be cool yeah, I'll definitely have to look at that. 
Is it one of those free to play or is it going to be like one one payment only? Or it could be a horrible one which is like pay to play continuous game. Like subscriptions and I don't like subscriptions. Oh, the sun is setting. We can see our shadows. like 30 bucks okay I think uh, trying to work remember how much 30 bu bucks is in uh, English pounds I think like I think it's three maybe one or two dollars to an English pounds so it won't be too bad Yeah, I was, I was playing another game that someone gifted me that you can't buy anymore. It looked really good early access game. I think it was Windborne. And uh, unfortunately, they uh, they kind of discontinued it because Steam had too many games like it and it wasn't so successful. But I started playing that Windborne and it was really good. But severely lacking content and uh, textures where they got forced out of it. They did state that they're trying to get it back, and they kind of give, gave their existing um, existing uh, players some codes to give away. And a fellow friend of mine called Richard, I think Richard, I think his name was, he gifted it to me. So it's, it's actually quite a nice little game to play. But I do like. Creative Earth. I haven't played much of it lately, but from what I've been told, they've just added like animal breeding and farms and taming of pets. So that would be kind of interesting. I might have to look into that. Ah, oh, overshot it again. Alright, we're gonna dump that, dump that, steal all of that. So, what did I need for Arthur? A couple more lithium and a lot more tin. Can we make any dual motors? We need a little bit more iron. Can we make one now? Need a little bit more iron. Come on, I don't want lithium on iron, please. There we go, we've got enough to make iron. So, we're going to get our first. Um, What's it called? Basic drill motor. And we're going to place Definitely. that in our iron, I think. Where is he? Oh, you're not going to appear in my hopper. Oops. It'd be cool if you could, like, left click and it would auto upgrade. Or just insert it into the block. Uh, you mean uh, OORT Online Dragon? Right, can I? No, it won't let me left click and place it in. I have to open it. Okay, right. So this should like, effectively double my output per minute. There we go. I'm gonna need a lot of those if I want to get any further. Because at the moment that is horribly slow. Might have to talk to uh, HMK as well because he's been modifying a couple of the recipes, which I I really liked. Because if, if you look at his uh, if you look at DJ's batteries. I think it was the tier 3 and tier 4 kind of require the previous tier in the recipes. So he's now made it so like the power storage mark 2 requires four tier 
ones and tin. The power Mark III requires two Mark IIs and the uh, other ores, which was nickel and titanium, I think it was. So he's kind of trying to keep them all in line, because otherwise you've got the old material, but none of the new materials. And you kind of get stuck with like loads of tier 1 batteries or tier 2 batteries. And the HMK is kind of giving them purpose now. Which is good. Oh wow, I forgot how expensive that was. What's up with you? We've been as deep as minus 1000... Uh, no, you are lying. That is still a bug. That is my pretty other world. This is not that world, Arthur. Come on, get your crap together. And we are at the 26 minute mark. So we are probably going to end our episode very shortly. So we're going to do another quick. Uh, we're going to top our power up just before we go. Uh, any closer? Make another one. Yeah, we're just gonna need lots of iron. Uh what what's needed for the next tier? Is it gonna ask me for a research lab? Yes, it is. Yeah. I need more research points. And until I get down to the cool caverns, that is not gonna happen anytime soon. So, might have to do a bit more mining. But once we collect our iron and lithium, we are going to end the episode. And we're going to come back to hopefully get into the cool caverns for episode 11. So, we've got 20. So, the lithium, we should have about 10. If our, oh no, we've got 12. So. Maybe it's not as fast as I just thought. Oh, that's... there we go. Right. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to go up to energy now. Okay, guys, we are gonna end the episode here. This is Gaza942 and we are ending the episode, episode 10 and we will be back with episode 11 on stream but for my viewers on YouTube you will be seeing episode 11 tomorrow. Thank you for watching, if you liked the video please give it a thumbs up, if you didn't please give it a thumbs down and also leave a comment as well telling me what you liked about the video, what you don't like and where I can improve. So thank you very much and we'll see you all later.